Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Gentle Yoga. Let's just start seated on our mat. Close down the eyes. Place your hands on your thighs, and you can place your right foot on top of your left or one in front of the other. And if you have a yoga block, it's always good to sit on something so that your hips are a little higher than your knees. So just take a moment to adjust. And then when you are settled, take a nice deep breath in through the nose and then exhale through the mouth all the way. Inhale. And exhale. Continue breathing with those nice deep breaths in and those audible exhales out. Noticing the body respond to the breath. Maybe be a little curious about where the breath goes when you breathe into the body. Just take a moment to show yourself the gratitude for showing up today, taking the time to come to your mat, and just reconnect with yourself, reconnect with presence. And just continue breathing and notice the peacefulness that the breath brings to the body. Notice the peacefulness that coming onto the mat and creating this sense of presence allows the body to just relax, gives the mind a break. Take a couple more breaths. into the center of the head. I want you to imagine a line going from the top of one earlobe over to the other. And then a line from in between your eyebrows to the back of your head. And where both of those lines intersect, that is the center of your head. It brings kind of a sense of um, connection the body into the uh, spirit. And so during the course of the day, we're always so outside of our bodies and so inside of our head with our thoughts, we don't give ourselves a chance to connect to the earth. Connect to our quietness. And this is where I go when I need to do that. Take a moment to set your intention for the class. Continue breathing, Purse, uh, close the lips, seal them off. While being in the center of the head, I want you to tap into your Ujjayi Pranayama. So you want to breathe and feel the resonation of the breath um, in the back of the throat. It's kind of like an oceanic sound. And continue to use that breath throughout the practice. Slowly start to open the eyes, maybe a soft gaze, or maybe keep them closed. Take a nice deep breath in, and this time as you breathe in, reach the arms up over the head, lengthening the sides of the body. Your eyes are open, maybe looking up at the sky. And as you exhale, hands come down and the chin tucks into the chest. Inhale again, drawing the breath into the body, down into the belly, reaching up and lengthening through the spine. Exhale out through the mouth, dropping the chin. This time taking the right arm up and over, lengthening through the right side of the body. Press the right hip down towards the mat. Kind of giving yourself a little anchor point. 
reaching through those fingertips, maybe feeling a little pull in that hip. And then coming back to the center. Inhale up with the opposite arm, reach all the way up and over, lengthening through the spine of the body, pressing down through that left hip. And then exhaling through the center of the body. Take a nice inhale this time, a little seated cow chest lifts up to the sky, shoulders roll off the chest, belly kind of relaxes. And then coming into a seated cat, as we exhale, interlace the fingers, drop the chin, round out through the top of the back, creating some space there. Inhale again, lifting up. Hands come down to the back, seated cow. And then exhale, seated cat, interlacing the fingers, rounding to the top of the back. And then drop the hands down. Lift up with the chest one more time. And then you inhale, expand through that rib cage. And as you exhale, kind of anchor down into the ground. We're going to go into our first position, but we're going to flow a little bit first. So take that yoga block to the side for a moment. Come to all fours and just take a moment to wiggle out the hips and the neck in a way that just feels comfortable for you. Okay, It should feel really good. And then inhale when you're ready, press up through those arms, maybe coming into a cat. Hold it right there for a really nice stretch. And, and as you exhale, sitting back into a narrow knee child's pose. <clears throat> inhale, push forward onto your forearms, coming into a sphinx position, everybody. Lengthen the legs. And maybe bring a yoga block over to between your hands. Take a nice inhale, lift through the head, through the crown of the head, lengthen through the spine. Good. And as you exhale, drop the chin to the chest, maybe the forehead to the yoga block. And we'll hold it here. I want you to relax the belly. Okay. Relax the legs. Relax the facial muscles. Relax the neck and shoulders. The upper back. The chest. And abdomen. The low back. Let the hips spill out over the mat. Five more breaths. As you relax into this pose, I want you to notice your hands and your forearms and your elbows. Anything that's in contact with the ground, just feel the ground that's supporting you right now, that supports your body. And just feel that connection to the earth as if you're all part of this one thing, your body, the earth, the mat. Feel the body opening up to that connection, to that flow of energy.
we have this illusion we're taught at a young age that we're separate. We're separate from others. We're separate from nature. And when we get to the point where we start to embrace that we are all part of this one amazing divinity, whether you're a tree, whether you're a fish, or whether you're a human, we all have life. And that life that breathes through us is part of something greater. And we're part of something greater. Two more breaths. Start to deepen the breath, pressing the hands into the ground. Fingers are splayed. On your next inhale, lift the forehead up, lengthen through the spine, slide the hands forward, up dog. Look forward with your gaze. Two more breaths. Drop the elbows down. Take the yoga block to the side. Slide the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, look up over the right shoulder, all the way up. Come back down with the exhale. Inhale up to the left side, looking over the shoulder. And exhale down. Take the knees wide, big toes are touching. Sit back into a wide knee, child's pose, all the way back. Uh, now, if you need a block, maybe you just get back, get back far enough, you can place it underneath the hips. Maybe you need a block for your forehead, whatever works in this position. Just want to feel like you're not jarring or pinching anything. You don't want to feel any stinging or burning. Knees are wide. Allow those hips to fall deep into the stretch. With every inhale, feel the lift of the body, the expansion of the chest. And with every exhale, feel the body falling a little deeper, hips stretching a little deeper. Drop the elbows to the ground. trying to keep your internal chatter off the mat. Don't be afraid to acknowledge what you're thinking about. But as soon as you do, bring your presence, bring your focus back to your breath. Make your breath your mantra. As we move into Finishing up the House of Pisces, which is pause, recognition, embracing who we are today, and acknowledging the celebrating process that brought here. We have an amazing full moon on the horizon, coming in with lots of energy as it always does. And in this full moon, as the sun focuses on the moon, and the moon emits this amazing light, the light is shining on us, sun. In the house of Pisces, it's about self. What do we need to think about and acknowledge and embrace about ourselves? With a full moon, I think of brilliance. We need to recognize and celebrate our own personal brilliance. 
Two more breaths. When you're ready, I want you to very gently walk your hands to the right, arms to the, I'm sorry, hands to the right, hips to the left. Feel that opening in the left side of the body. Notice the ribs separating. Imagine the intercostals just stretching. Forehead is on the ground. You maybe you want to take that left palm and place it on the right. Three more breaths. Now take the hands when you're ready, and then you'll walk them to the left. Again, sweeping that right arm over, maybe stacking the palms, stretching the intercostals on the right side of the body, breathing into that right rib cage. Notice the expansion as we fill up with our breath. Three more breaths. Beautiful, everybody. Bring your hands back to the center. Take a nice deep breath in. Stretch all the way back. And as you exhale, come up like a cat, pulling that belly button tightly into the spine and then up towards the rib cage. Let's try that again. Sit back and stretch. We inhale like a cow. And then exhale, rolling up like a cat. Neutralize the spine. Beautiful. Take your hands down to your elbow or your forearms, everybody. And then lengthen them out, going into puppy dog. Drop the forehead down. Keep the head, the hips lifted over the knees. And just stay here for about five breaths. I love this pose. If you have a dog, you know that when they like to play, this is what they do. On your next inhale, slide the hands in. Exhale, push up. Inhale, lift up, tall kasana. Moving into this plank position, tilt the pelvis forward. Thinking about the root chakra in our next position, everybody. So we're gonna push up into a downward dog. Stretching the hips up, dropping the chin to the chest, bringing your drishti to above your knees. Hold. And then planting the forearms down into dolphin. So the hips are lifted. Okay, knees can be soft. Think of the root chakra, Muladhara. It's that beautiful red spinning ball of energy in the pelvis. And it represents salvation, safety, security. When the world is, when our world, our personal world is a little crazy and we're not feeling safe, we're not feeling home, we're not feeling grounded, that root chakra needs a little attention to bring us back to that grounded, centered feeling. 
And as we're in this position, imagine drawing your breath in towards the pelvis, tickling that chakra so it spins a little quicker, sprinkling that red, that color of red throughout the pelvis. Imagine it opening up like a flower. Five more breaths. It takes mindfulness to come to you. And then above that, it takes mindfulness and virtue. Inhale, everybody. Come to attention. Fill up. Exhale, drop the knees. Inhale, extend the arms up. Take the left arm to the right. Sit back into the left hip. In the center. And listening to the words of this music, right arm goes to the left. I believe we get touched right here, then talking about entering into this life of spirits. I believe it's a choice we make to come into this world with it in the curriculum. The karma. We need to work through to evolve. It's like going to school for a spirit. Inhale, come forward, back to all fours. Take those hands, those fingertips out to the long end of the mat, and then just rock back and forth. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can take those fingertips towards the body and just kind of very gently rock back and forth. And relax, cross the ankles and back, everybody. We're going to go into an open heart position on a hot tub, which is the heart chakra. Okay. So, we want to take this right here for the head. Let's just go below the shoulder blades if you can get that. And then come up to the blocks and slowly roll down. You know, you may have to shift around a little bit to find it. Okay. You want to make sure that that block is supporting the head. And the, the block in the mid body is supporting that middle back. Palms are out. Take a nice inhale, settle into this position. Legs can go out, toes can fall to the side. Anahata, our heart, love, and passion. It's not just for others, it's also for ourselves. I read a book recently, and one of the things that they emphasize throughout the book is the greatest love affair we will ever have is with ourselves. The deepest, most profound love is with ourselves. No matter what happens in life, what relationships we have, we'll never be unloved if we recognize that, if we embrace that love. We'll never be able to truly love another person until we truly know how to love ourselves. Such a beautiful lesson in life. I have a 23 year old daughter, and I try to teach her that, although she's pretty smart. She's getting it. Mm 
And as we lie here, imagine the shoulders opening up. Maybe pulling a little bit on that chest, reminding it to stretch. Maybe focusing on the anapata, the heart chakra. What's the color of blue? Imagine our breath coming in and feeling the spinning of that beautiful blue chakra. Imagine the chest filling up with the color of blue. It's funny, I'm imagining my chakra. It's not moving very fast right now, so I think I need to quiet down for a second. See it spinning. Imagine its brightness. There's so many chakras in the body, but there are seven main chakras that run from the base of the spine to the crown. We'll be focusing on this much in the process. Let's take another five breaths and maybe deepen that breath. Do you feel it? Do you feel the body responding? Inhale deeply, everyone. Nice and deep through that nose. Fill up. Draw up to the abdomen and hold for a count of four, three, Two, one, now exhale it out. Turn in house, forward, and exhale. Bring the legs together, arms up over the head, lengthen through the body. Exhale, arms come around the body, maybe the eyes are Close, tuck the chin to the chest, roll up through the spine into a seated position. Draw the arms up and back. Exhale, elbows down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Beautiful, everybody. Turn and face me. Come into a seated position. We're going to end our class. I want you to close down the eyes and bring the hands together and go back into the center of the head, how we started, drawing that line from one ear loop to another, from the um, back of the head to between the eyebrows and right there where it intersects, I want you to go. And as we have our hands in prayer, create a little pressure, bringing everything into the center of that body. Imagine a white light wrapping around your body, hugging your body. Maybe think of some people in your life that are very close to you that you love. See them out in front of you and see that white light expanding to each one of them. Circling around them, tucking them in. And as you go around one side, pull that light back in towards your body. So that 
We're all going to seal this practice together with an OM, everybody. Exhale out. Inhale in. The teacher in me recognizes and celebrates the beautiful teacher in each one of you. Namaste, Daphne and Dora. Namaste. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for coming. Thanks for coming at home. Have a beautiful Wednesday.